Hey, I'm back here in the studio, uh, the Encaustic studio. I'm getting ready for a show. There is a new, uh, it's called the Sunday Franklin Market, and there are all sorts of local artisans and vendors that will be on hand. It goes three uh, days in three months. So the first date is Sunday, September 10th. I think it's from 10 to 4 at the factory here in Franklin. And then October 8th is the next date and December 3rd. And I will have a booth set up all three of those days. And I'm gonna be, ha I'm just working on a bunch of encaustics. So I thought I'd have you join me and show you a few more techniques. Last time we were here, I started on this. I uh, glued this paper down and then I treated it with encaustic wax medium, which is here on my griddle. Uh, uh, can you see that? Yes, this is a pancake griddle and it becomes my palette uh, during the encaustic process. So uh, I applied a layer of encaustic medium over the top of this paper and so now what I'm going to do is take this uh, loop tool which you can get at any pottery section of an art store. It's the pear-shaped loop tool and I'm just scraping all of the extra wax back and the way I do that is I hold my loop tool at about a 45 degree angle and I'm just scraping and you should hear a little squeaky noise that's actually a good noise I recycle um, this this medium is really expensive so anything that's not contaminated with ink or paper or paint I put back here in my little my little pan so I'm just scraping away. I want to get it down to a smooth surface for the next layer. And what I do, if you can see this here, can you see this? I hope you can see this. Uh, I twist my board around so that it's even, so I'm not scraping one area. You can get divots in it if you aren't careful. And any seams or corners you want to pay special attention to. And you're just kind of doing it by feel and by sight uh, until you're, you feel good to move on. I'm just cleaning it up. Cleaning it up is what I'm doing, really. And then the next layer can look any number of ways. I haven't decided what I'm going to do on this. And really what I do with encaustic uh, when I'm working on this, I have several that I'm working on at one time because a lot of times you'll apply a process to something and then you have to let it cool or you have to let it dry. So you can't really do tons to one thing at one time. So I'll scrape this down and then I'll move on to my, net, my next panel and see where we're at with another panel. I always scrape toward me. You don't want to scrape away from yourself. And you just want to move in small little movements. And you want to be careful when you're getting to a thin layer. You just want to be careful that you're not scraping into the paper like I just did there. <laughs> and the corners. The corners get a little a little more attention and you never want to come down on it from where the paper has been glued down if I did this I could rip up the paper on the edge the edges are the most uh, precarious on an encaustic panel so you want to treat those with care okay so I'm kind of done here I'm gonna ruminate on that I don't know what I'm gonna do next with that let me set that aside. This one I've had going for a long time. A lot of times what happens is I teach in caustic workshops. I love teaching this medium. It's friendly. It's um, helpful for those who, if, if you don't feel like you can draw or paint, this is something you can do. Um, I love teaching it. But what will happen is I'll do a demo. Like here, this line right here is an incised line. And I was showing that showing how to do that and then this I don't know if you can see this or not but there's this texture here <clears throat> that 
That's from an orange uh, net. You know how oranges come in a, a bag, a netting, a bag of netting? So that is actually embedded into the wax. So, but I don't see this top part here. This is actually a piece of lace ribbon that I treated and embedded into the wax. And I really don't like it. So I want to demonstrate to you that it's a very forgiving medium. You can try something and do it. And then if you end up not liking it, you can always undo it, which is really nice. But this, this, uh, this lace ribbon here was put on before this orange netting was put on. So in order to take that off, I want to be really careful about just kind of cutting. I don't, I really like the, the netting, so I'm going to leave that. But I'm going to just slice it where I want to take this off. So I'm using an X-Acto knife and just carefully lifting this up. And your process changes, your language changes, your desires for a piece can change over time. Part of the beauty of being on an art process is being open, remaining open to what it wants to be, to what, it's a collaboration between you and the process itself. So I'm listening to this and I just feel like this piece doesn't belong here. And I'm just going to carefully take it off. I don't have any plans for what does belong. I just feel like this doesn't belong. It has some other thing to do. Yeah, it's loose, so I'm just going to carefully lift this up. I'm probably going to keep this around. Um, there's a lot of things happening underneath of it. I feel like it's not done yet. There's something that it wants to be. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna hold on to it for a little while and put it in my stash of things that I like to hold on to. And see how that just totally changed. Now, the thing about encaustic is it's, it's layered. So there were a lot of things happening under this. So I can look at that and see what I've got to work with. And see what I want to do next but I feel like that was the right decision to take that off so I might just put this aside for a little bit or maybe put some more wax on it I don't know yet uh, there's a there's a book page on here and somebody underlined these words I think that's really interesting I don't want to cover that up I want to look at that and maybe see how that can be um, you know that can underscore whatever this is meant to be at some point so um, if you're interested in encaustic, will you look me up? Go to flyforward.org, go to the contact page and contact me. Uh, I do workshops uh, around, uh, I'll, I'll do a weekend workshop around uh, the encaustic process. Um, I'm looking for, oh, here it is. And to get you started with encaustic, I put the, together these little kits. The only thing you would need to start at your home is a pancake griddle, a heat gun, and this is a starter kit. It comes with three gessoed panels of assorted sizes that I've I cut up in the wood shop behind me and I gesso them and they're all ready to accept your medium. Oh, uh, what else in here? Um, I've made, I make my own encaustic medium. So it includes three cakes of encaustic wax medium, which will last you quite a while. Last time I talked to you, I didn't tell you about the paraffin wax. It also comes with a block of paraffin wax. You cannot use paraffin wax for encaustic. However, this acts almost like a terpenoid does for oil painting. It cleans your griddle, it cleans your brushes, it cleans your tools. Uh, it's fabulous like that. So you definitely need this, or soy wax works the same way. And then I've also included in this kit, you have to have paint brushes that are not synthetic. They have to be natural bristles. So I've included um, assorted four different assorted sizes of, of brushes. 
And then your loop tool that I was talking about, this guy right here, where's this guy? Uh, your loop tool. This is your loop tool that you definitely need if you're gonna do encaustic, if you're gonna practice that. Um, and then I'll also put one of these loaf pans in here and uh, you can get started in your home and it's something you can just set up in an, a small space and just really enjoy and have fun. It's a way to play. It's a way to wake up your creative side. So go to flyforward.org, my contact page, contact me if you're interested in learning this medium. I will do a weekend workshop. I'm gonna set one up for October. I will let you know in, in future, uh, future vlogs when that'll be. But I hope to see you around.